Let's do example two. A fair dice is rolled. If x represents the number on the dice, we need to show that x is a discrete random variable. This means that we need to show that the summation of px equal to x should equal to 1. Let x equal to the number on the dice. Hence x is equal to 1 until 6. And we can represent px equal to x as a table. In the first row, we're going to put all the values of the random variable x. For the second row, we're going to put the corresponding probability for each x. When x is equal to 1, the probability of getting x equal to 1 is 1 over 6. When x is equal to 2, the probability is also 1 over 6. And the same goes for when x is equal to 3, 4, 5, and 6. Hence, we can try to find the summation of px equal to x, which is equal to the summation of all the probabilities. Hence, this is equal to 1 over 6 plus 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 1 over 6, and this is equal to 1. Since the summation of px equal to x is equal to 1, therefore, x is a discrete random variable. Example 3 Three fair coins are toast, where x represents the number of tails obtained. For part A, we need to show that x is a discrete random variable. This means that we need to show that the summation of px equal to x is equal to 1. So let x equal to the number of tails obtained. Therefore, x is equal to 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now, let's try to list down all the possible outcomes. When the number of tail obtained is 0, there is only one possible outcome, which is head, head, and head. When the number of tails obtained is 1, there are three possible outcomes, which are head, head, and tail, head, tail, head, and tail, head, head. When the number of tails obtained is 2, there are also three possible outcomes, head, tail, 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 head, tail, and tail, tail, head. When the number of tails obtained is 3, there is only one possible outcome, which is tail, tail, tail. From here, you can see that the total number of outcomes is 8. Now, we can use this information to make our table. For x, the values are 0, 1, 2, and 3. When x is equal to 0, there is only one outcome. Therefore, the probability is 1 out of 8. When x is equal to 1, there are three possible outcomes. Therefore, the probability when x is equal to 1 is 3 out of 8. When x is equal to 2, there are also three possible outcomes. Therefore, the probability when x is equal to 2 is 3 out of 8. When x is equal to 3, there is only one possible outcome. Therefore, the probability when x is equal to 3 is 1 out of 8. Therefore, the summation of px equal to x is the summation of all of the probabilities, which is equal to 1. Hence, we can make the conclusion, since the summation of px equal to x is equal to 1, Therefore, x is a discrete random variable. Part B. Construct a probability distribution table and hence write down the probability distribution function. We already did the table in part A. So basically, just copy this table back into part B. Like so, and now we can do the probability distribution function. Therefore, px is equal to x equal to Let's look at your probabilities first. If you look at this probability here, you will realize that we only have 1 over 8 and 3 over 8. 
So write down 1 over 8 and 3 over 8. When the probability is 1 over 8, which is here and here, the value of x is x equal to 0 and x equal to 3. Therefore, we can write down x is equal to 0, comma, 3. When the probability is 3 over 8, which is here and here, the value of x is 1 and 2. Therefore, you can write down x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. Part C. Sketch a graph for the probability distribution function of x. In order to sketch a graph, all you need is the value of x and your probability. For the x axis, we're gonna put all the values of our random variable x. You can either start x equal to 0 here and then you have 1, 2, and 3. Or you can even start when x equals to 0 here. So you're gonna have something that looks like this. For the y-axis, we're going to put all the values of our probability. So, for the probability, we have 1 over 8 and 3 over 8. When x is equal to 0, the probability is 1 over 8. So, we're going to draw a straight line when x equal to 0 until it reach 1 over 8. When x is equal to 3, the probability is also 1 over 8. So, at x equal to 3, you're going to have a straight line going up until it reach 1 over 8. When x is equal to 1, the probability is 3 over 8. So at x equal to 1, you're going to have a straight line going up until it reach 3 over 8. When x is equal to 2, the probability is also 3 over 8. And this is the graph for the probability distribution function of x.